Blizzard, listen to me. It is 4.30 in the frickin' morning. I want to go to bed. But you're posting these cinematics. And you know I'm a sucker for these cinematics. So let's watch them. We are going to start with the Alliance cinematic. These are the cinematics that are coming out in patch 7.3.5. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. I know King Anduin is in this cinematic, so it's going to be terrible. Let's see what happens. Oh shit, I can't hear anything. Fucking damn it. I gotta... <clears throat> Like many of you, I know firsthand the pain of loss. My father, <laughs> King Varian Rin, gave his life to save his people. He knew that no one, not even a king, is more important than the Alliance. <laughs> and because he and so many others had the courage to make that sacrifice. We did the impossible. We defeated the Burning Legion. Spymaster Shaw. Back so soon? But by living our lives, our joy. I need to speak with him. These are the gifts of the fallen. Now. And we must cherish and celebrate them for the Alliance! We've observed an unusually large cluster of goblins and Silithus. And the numbers are increasing. Goblins aren't the most charming people, but they do things for a reason. And those reasons usually involve money. So, the <laughs> Horde has found something valuable then. They have indeed. This. We've seen the Horde does, and we must find out more. Agreed. We have eyes on it. That's pretty cool. That was pretty freaking cool. I very much enjoyed Anduin's little inspirational Make the Alliance Great Again speech. I thought that was funny. And I also really liked the whole, like, oh, the goblins, whatever they're doing, it probably involves money. I like that. Also, Gen Greymane, I, dude, I don't, Gen Greymane is so cool. He's like that cool grandfatherly type that chills out and you know, in the back and just kind of watches his grandson like fulfill his destiny and he's really proud like again gray man is so freaking cool let's watch the horde one i don't want to talk too long so let, let's go to the horde one war chief if i may offer a few words it is with both pain and pride that we gather here today Pain for many brave heroes of the Horde fell against a terrible foe. And pride for against all odds, we have vanquished the Legion. We bled, now we heal. We mourned, now we celebrate for the Horde! For the Horde! War oh Chief! A moment of your time. <sighs> hmm. I like it. No doubt Gallywix wants to push his latest money-grubbing scheme. 
rats scurry about their business and get eaten if they're not careful. <laughs> Keep sending more goblins to Silithus. <laughs> Nothing good has ever come out of Silithus. This will change everything. <laughs> I told you! And the Alliance knows nothing of this. Don't worry, War Chief. I got people on it. War Chief, come on over here. I got, I got something to tell you. I got like, I got a little proposition for you. You're gonna make, gonna make some of that green. <laughs> Gallywix's first ever cinematic, everybody. He sounded incredible. 10 out of 10. Sarfang. Holy shit. Who the fuck voices Sarfang? Freaking Archangel Gabriel or some shit? Like, dude, he sounded incredible. Uh, then you got Bane Bloodhoof. Bane Bloodhoof. Eh. I, I did find it funny how they're all eating steak. Inclu including Bane. I, I thought that was funny. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. They're all sitting together, having a nice little dinner. Although there's one problem. There's just one problem with their little talk. Bane is sitting there and he's like, Yeah, guys, we defeated the Legion. We went to Argus and kicked Sargeras' ass. What the fuck are you talking about? There wasn't a single Horde person to be seen on the frickin' Vindicar. I mean, Sylvanas wasn't on Argus. Sarfang wasn't on Argus. Bane was nowhere to be seen in this expansion. What the fuck is he talking about? Bane? You didn't do a goddamn thing. Freaking lying cow trying to take people trying to take people's credit. Bitch. I kinda liked the Alliance one a little bit better. Just because it was like, you know, big old shots of storm wind, and you got that kind of, you know, like Anduin's talking to the leader of SI7, Matthias Shaw. I thought that was really cool and then gray mane is kind of you know watching proudly from the side so i will say that i preferred the alliance one over the horde one but that's just my opinion guys what did you think of the two new cinematics which one was your favorite what are you most excited for in the new patch i'm gonna go to bed because it's really freaking late but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all really soon